I just, I need this first in my hand. It wouldn't really be a wine video without this, would it? Why are you stopping? I don't know. We're visiting the Barossa Valley and McLaren Vale. Two days of wineries in two very different ways. Starting off in Barossa on bikes. I would wave, but I can't take my hands off the, off the steering thing. <laughs> hey, we're at McLaren Vale. Stay tuned for drunkenness. By the time we get to McLaren Vale, we've upgraded from two wheels to four wheels. $25 a day and aircon. This is our delightful moving machine. I'm in heaven. Wine cam. With over 200 wineries in the Barossa and McLaren Vale, the $5 travellers knew they had their work cut out for them. 200 glasses of wine in a couple of days is hard going even for us. But fortunately, we have the luxury of a montage. But heavy drinking can lead to a few problems with pronunciation. We are trying to be Mr. Riggs Montepichi. So we're going to see the oldest vine in the world. Apparently so. It's an old Shiraz vine that was brought over here uh, by some Germans escaping religious persecution and blah blah blah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> history and stuff. History and stuff and stuff. Most of the other old vines in Europe were destroyed by a disease. Uh, the, uh, the North Oldest North vines in the world. My turn, tasting the Freedom Shiraz, the, the vines that we looked at earlier. And uh, this is what comes from them, so time to give it a try. Yeah, the vines are over 100 years old, they've had time to work their shit out. Right here we have the budget bucket. We're in wine country and we really want to spend our money on wine because we're trying to save money. It's the five dollar chunk away. This is dinner. Got a little bit of sauce already. Maybe get some cheese as well. Ten dollars, two days worth of food. And voila! Nice and tasty. It's a lot more money to spend on wine. If you want to spoil yourselves a little bit more, we recommend heading out to K1. It's forty dollars. It's not quite five dollar traveller price. However, when you've got surroundings like this, and on a Monday we're the only people here, it's not budget, but it is value. And I get a lot of salami. Shouldn't be telling the world that. Hello, we are at Alpha Box. Looks funky, looks quirky. Let's check it out. Kitsch and eccentric, Alpha Box and Dice focus on traditional winemaking methods whilst embracing a new generation of wine lovers. The aim for us here is bringing uh, some of the old world charm, very low tech, a lot of uh, grit, determination, and muscle. Our winemaker speaks of having taken a Tarantino approach to winemaking and that he didn't study wine, he just went out and did wine. The other interesting thing is that we've used the skins and the stalks, a lot of whole bunch and whole berry. Just throwing it all in. Throwing it all in. Drinking white wine for the first time in the whole trip. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth, that's the difference I suppose. Most white wine makes me suck my lips together. You've got the Enigma. And a silky farmer of a wine. Yeah, you that really rustic sort of barnyard fuck about it. Oh, I like that. We didn't make it to all of the wineries, but we did discover that you can't buy happiness, but you can buy wine. It's kind of the same thing. We also discovered that cycling around the Barossa is really hot. See our Barossa bicycle video for more info. Drunky cycling!